Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Naughty Threads. I know it's been a while I uploaded the last video. Um, since uh, most of you know that I have been sick from uh, past few days. Uh, but nothing to worry, everything is okay now. I am trying to recover. Uh, since today I was feeling a little better, I thought uh, of filming this video and uh, getting back to you guys. Uh, so in case you want to know what actually happened and uh, why I uh, did not post any videos, uh, please do subscribe to my other channel, Naughty Vlogs. So now, without any delay, let's get straight into it. I'll be using a rectangle pendant like this. This is the main part of the necklace. And for the chain part, I'm going to use uh, some beads like this and some antique charms which have loops on both the ends and these charms I'm going to use here since this pendant has a lot of loops and along with that I am also using these small uh, uh, antique beads and jump rings, eye pins along with set of tools like this so now I've uh, already started making the chain part here I'm inserting this bead to this eye pin here and then bend this eye pin to 90 degree using a round nose plier and trim off the excess. We'll make a loop using the same round nose plier like this and add a charm which has two rings and then close the loop. Now while making this loop, we'll have to make sure it has enough room for this charm to move around otherwise it's going to end up uh, very stiff. Now I have uh, similar pieces which I've already made. So I'm just going to open this end of the eye pin and join it to make it a long piece. Just open this end of the eye pin. Do not widen it like this but just you know, open it this way. So this is the right side, make sure the right side of this charm is also on top, otherwise it will end up like this, so check that before you fix it and then close the loop. So here it is uh, two pieces and I already have two pieces here. So we'll have to attach one more piece and this is what is going to make our chain. So here the chain part is ready. Now I'm going to join two uh, eye pins to make it longer because I don't have a very long eye pin right now. So I'm just going to open this and join it to make it one long piece. So this is for this part of the pendant so that is why I wanted it long. Now on either sides I will add two gold beads each. So for this I am going to have uh, use uh, these round ones. So we will do it one by one and just make a loop here and then trim the excess. I'm not going to close the loop yet, so I'll finish the other side as well. So same way add two beads. So since I have not closed this loop, we have to be a little careful at this stage not uh, to pull the complete uh, eye pin. So we will we'll have to have enough room here for this one. So I have just uh, left that part and then I have bent it. Now I am going to trim off the excess and repeat the same thing. So 
so this is how it should look at this stage if you want you can slightly bend it like this now on either sides we are going to fix this part which is our chain part so that is why I have not uh, closed this loop yet so this is very simple you just have to add this part of uh, the chain and then close the loop and do the exact same thing on the other side so instead of uh, the necklace dory I am using this uh, gold chain so I have measured the length I wanted because there is no lock or uh, anything to adjust so we should be able to pass this through our head without any issue so depending on that I have cut the length now attaching this is very simple you just have to open this loop and add these uh, the rings do the same thing on either sides now open the loop one by one just add both and press it back So the same thing we'll have to repeat on the other side. To add charms, I'm using this uh, jump ring. Just open the jump ring, add any charm you have, and fix it here. And close the jump ring. That's all you have to do to finish the necklace. So we'll be making this kind of earring for the necklace. So I have everything ready here. Uh, from this long piece of chain, I've cut five rings. We will be needing three pieces. So I've already cut three pieces here. So Open the jump ring and add a stud and then also add this kind of T-lock and then close the jump ring. Before you continue just check if both uh, are the correct side is facing on the in the front I mean and then we will add these chains to these loops with the help of a jump ring so this step is very simple all you have to do is open a jump ring add this chain and add it to this loop and then close it so we'll do the exact same thing two more times now since this t-log has five loops I have skipped one otherwise uh, everything kind of gets very close So I have added all three chains here. Now to this I am using this kind of gundu bead which I will be adding on either sides and junka goes in the center. We will have to repeat the same process using a jump ring. We will add these so it's pretty much whatever we did just now. So on two either sides or the extreme uh, ends. I'm using these beads and in the center I'm using the juka.
So it's very easy to make and it really looks uh, trendy. So our complete set is ready. This is how it has turned out and I completely am in love with how it looks. Uh, this is a complete set which can be paired with any kind of Indian sari. It looks really trendy with these uh, uh, kind of earrings. Uh, if you have everything you want handy then it can be made in less than 10 minutes. It's very simple to make. If you are wondering about the material, it's all available on our own website which is www.naughtythreads.com So please don't forget to check on that. Uh, in case you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Keep sharing our videos with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and I guess that's about it for today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care guys. Bye-bye.